This little piggy was trying not to be made into sausage and served on the Christmas table. So he got Charlotte the spider and asked her to weave a few words on the spider's web. The spider web said, some pig. The farm owners were shocked. They thought it had some kind of magic. Wilbur immediately became the town's famous pig. In fact, when Wilbur was first born, he was the smallest. The farmer wanted to kill him, but he was saved by the kind fern. I will never let you kill him. Fern took good care of Wilbur. She fed and drank milk every day. Fern couldn't bear to part with Wilbur. She even took him to school with her. However, she couldn't stop the pig squealing from under the desk. The class laughed. Wilbur was disrupting the class, so Fern was criticized. But she didn't care that her mother was against it. Fern kept Wilbur with her all the time. Fern put Wilbur in the stroller and took him shopping. She bathed Wilbur by herself. She sang lullabies to put him to sleep. But as time went by, Wilbur grew up. Dad no longer agreed to Fern keeping Wilbur at home, so Fern had to send Wilbur to the farm next door. Fern was sad to leave him. For example, Wilbur also climbed up the railing. He looked at Fern's back and felt the urge to follow Fern. So he hit the railing hard, but the railing didn't open. The animals were laughing at the insolent pig. But if you can't do it once, do it again. Wilbur kept trying. Finally, he made a successful attempt. He broke through the bars. He ran out into the wide open grass. It was the first time he ran as fast as he could. Suddenly, he came to a stop in front of a red house with smoke coming out of it. At that moment, he didn't know what this house means to him. The animals envy Wilbur for escaping. They wished he had been brave enough to escape, but Wilbur returned to the enclosure at the call of the farmer. Because he believes Fern will come back to see him again. He had to wait here for his friend, but the way was long. He wanted to make some more friends. Wilbur runs out into the mud and rolls around happily. He wants to invite other animals to play with him. But the animals ignore him, because they all have their own jobs to do. They all need to work. The sheep need to work hard to grow their wool. The cows need to produce milk, and the white geese need to hatch their eggs. They don't have time to play with Wilbur. Night falls. Wilbur is still waiting for Fern, but Fern was forbidden to go out by her mother because it was late. Just as Wilbur was saying goodnight with great disappointment. Bye. A voice answered it. Wilbur was very curious about who she was, but she said she needed to work at night. So in the morning, Wilbur would know who she was. Wilbur was obedient. Hey, went to sleep. Early the next morning, the sun was just spilling over the earth. Wilbur got up and said, it's morning. At that moment, the mystery man from last night appeared. The one who spoke last night was Charlotte, a spider. The horse was terrified to see Charlotte. He shouted, get rid of her. All the animals retreated. They were not impressed with Charlotte. At that moment, a fly got on the spider's web. Here comes her breakfast. Charlotte immediately climbed back into the web and wrapped the fly up. Wilbur asked her if she was going to eat the fly. Charlotte said, I'm not going to eat the fly. I'm just going to drink its blood. The horse was stunned when he heard her speak. It seems that horses are not very brave. Everyone was afraid of Charlotte. They thought she was ugly, but Wilbur was willing to come up to her. Charlotte also likes to talk to Wilbur. And so it was. They became friends. Wilbur was so happy. Every day after that, Fern would come to accompany Wilbur. Wilbur felt he was surrounded by happiness. But this day, the little boy grabbed Charlotte with a glass jar. Wilbur rushed to bite the boy's pen leg to save Charlotte. But then the mouse said, Even if you are good, people will only make Christmas dinner out of you. Wilbur then asked him, What is Christmas? Wilbur was very curious about this word he had never heard before. Everyone kept avoiding the subject. But the mouse told Wilbur about his future fate. At Christmas, Wilbur would be sent to the smokehouse. Then Wilbur would be made into sausage and roast meat. Wilbur was very sad to hear this. He didn't want to accept this fate. Wilbur wanted to live. He wanted to see the snow. At that moment, Charlotte landed in front of Wilbur and said, You will. She couldn't bear the thought of her only friend leaving her either. She promised Wilbur she would watch over Wilbur. Time passed by day by day. Wilbur was very scared. Christmas was approaching. Charlotte didn't say much. In the evening, she was on the move. Swinging, stopping, circling, Sticking again, all night long, she repeated these movements over and over again. She worked on the faintly glowing spider web. Early the next morning, the keeper came to feed Wilbur as usual. But when he looked up, he was stunned. He rushed to call the farmer over. The farmer was also shocked by the sight. A kitchen knife almost hit the mouse. Afterwards, a lot of people gathered around the farm. Wilbur then came out of the house. He looked up and saw on the spider web, it was written, The Amazing Wilbur. It was Charlotte's work. Everyone was in awe. They thought it was a miracle. Soon, the story of the miracle piggy was spread by everyone. Everyone came to the farm to see the celebrity pig. Wilbur. Charlotte told Wilbur to smile confidently for the camera. 
Wilbur did it. Everyone loved him so much. The animals finally felt, although Charlotte is ugly, but there is no denying that she is very smart. A few weeks later, no one cares about the spider web news about pigs. People that knew news, they gradually forgot about this cute Wilbur. So it looks like Wilbur was in danger of not being seen again. The animals held an emergency meeting. They needed to come up with a more powerful word to attract more human attention. So Charlotte went back to work all night. She wove a brand new spider web. Terrific. It's a very powerful word. It immediately drew a lot of attention again. The farmer decided on the spot to take Wilbur to the county show. Wilbur was so happy to hear that, he immediately performed a backflip. As long as he won the first place, he could get rid of his fate of being served on the dinner table. Before entering the competition, he took a milk bath happily. Wilbur was all dressed up and cleaned up, but when Wilbur heard the human say, if he lose us, then when Wilbur came back, he would immediately make him into bacon. So Wilbur immediately fainted. They doused Wilbur with water to wake him up and put him in a cage. Charlotte couldn't bear to see Wilbur being treated like this. So she followed Wilbur off the farm with the mice. As soon as they arrived at the game site, Charlotte immediately went out to detect the enemy. She took a look at the pig next door. She was very relieved. She thought Wilbur was a sure winner. The mouse also said that the pig next door was the ugliest pig he'd ever seen. Charlotte wrote a new word on the internet, humble. This made Wilbur, not surprisingly, the talk of the town again. Wilbur walks through the cheering crowd. He walks happily to the podium. Wilbur finally gets the medal he wanted. Wilbur is now free from the fate of being vacant. He is happy to share his joy with Charlotte. But at that moment, Charlotte collapsed from overwork. She had just given birth to 500 babies. So she had no strength left. Wilbur heard this. Wilbur's heart felt a stabbing pain. He couldn't accept that his friend was leaving him. And there was nothing Wilbur could do to help her. Charlotte comforted Wilbur by saying, This is a natural part of life. It's not the same as trying to earn your fate. In the land, Wilbur couldn't save Charlotte. He brought Charlotte's babies back home. Wilbur looked at the empty door frame. There was no more Charlotte's figure on the door. Wilbur and the animals bowed their heads. They are mourning Charlotte's departure. Winter is fast approaching. The animals take turns to warm Charlotte's babies with their bodies. They take the babies through the long cold years. Wilbur finally saw the snow. Wilbur stood in the snowy white. What he misses most is his friend from far away. Charlotte's web is a lovely and heartwarming fantasy fairy tale. Charlotte weaves a different kind of web. This changed Wilbur's destiny. She spends her life making good on the promise she made to Wilbur. Their sincere and pure relationship is touching. It also makes us deeply miss the sincere and brave Charlotte. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.